Hey everyone, it's Gary from Peacekeepers Armory. Here I have a um, sort of custom build. It's a uh, KR Sabres flagship brass. Uh, for a customer, he had it etched pretty exquisitely by, uh, I believe it was Ryan Lannon. Um, <clears throat> and then he had a custom chassis made uh, from RTJ. As you can see here, um, it's built for a Crystal Focus 9 dual, f I think it's dual 14... 500 batteries I think is what it is it's a 7.4 volt pack um, uh, for the crystal focus 9 and then a uh, color extender in there as well it is a tri -Cree. it's got a I believe it's a 24 millimeter speaker it might be 22 I forget sorry I ordered all these parts a long time ago and um, I finally got everything in and I was able to whip it up and uh, so I'm gonna show it off right now um, <clears throat> This is also a kind of how-to video for the new owner, so I'll uh, pardon all the exposition. But um, uh, right now I don't have a uh, kill key for it, so I was just using the adapter. I believe, like I said, um, or like I mentioned to the customer, I think it's 1.1, it might be 1.3 uh, millimeter recharge port. Um, so I'll just take that out real quick. Um, I'll include this in here. It's kind of makeshift. I cut off pieces of it to make it fit better. Um, a long time ago um, so it works it's charges all that cool stuff um, so you can see there the uh, crystal focus 9 or, I'm sorry the color extender and then the crystal focus is under here you can pop this off I'm not going to just because it's not necessary but yeah um, oh, well why not pop this off and then there's the board right there uh, these boards are held in with e6000 so if you absolutely have to you can get under them just take a you know, a, a fine screwdriver, maybe put some electrical tape on it and gently pry it up and then you can cut the glue as it comes up. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, for the recharge port. So, uh, it was kind of tricky to get in there with the design. Um, again, this is a custom, uh, sorry, just some excess glue there. Uh, it is a custom chassis uh, designed specifically for this uh, install in mind. So the recharge port was a bit tricky. It's held in there. I have um, some super ridiculous glue that I used, which I, of course, stuck to my fingers, um, as well as some hot glue to keep it in there. So the only thing keeping it in this hole is that. There was nothing behind it I could put to um, secure it in there. But all those things worked out pretty well, actually. And I can show you, um, you can, you know, Plug this in, take it out. It doesn't move at all. The only thing I will say is don't super push hard on it because that might not be good. And it might cause the um, recharge port to poke in there. So just be careful when plugging that in and um, otherwise you'll be fine. So to access the SD card, um, the speaker is removable. Just pull this straight out and then boom. Your SD card is right there. And now uh, that nub um, is important, so don't make sure that doesn't get damaged. It does keep the speaker a little bit um, up a, a little bit more steady, especially when you're putting in. And also, you don't want to bend the uh, the pins here. Um, you know, they're not pins aren't necessarily all that sturdy. You can see they flex, so you just want to make sure you put it on carefully each time, and then. Um, Uh, make sure it aligns with that little nub just to give that extra bit of stability. Uh, this is a uh, Robert Sotomayor. He made these. Um, he started putting them out a little while ago. I asked him if he could make a brass one. And um, he did. It was before he kind of started doing all that. So it kind of prompted him, I think. Not trying to pat myself on the back here or anything. But um, so it's got the dual. So activation. Um, last block is the bottom one. Bottom one, activation is the top. Uh, so it, it turns out really well. You can see the uh, tri cree lens in there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I replaced these screws with black just because I think it looked better than the silver. Um, and yeah, that's kind of everything there. I have a Bluetooth um, Fizicom uh, 630, I think is what it is, in here. Uh, I'm using my phone to record so I can't show the function but you can use Dimitri's app or any other uh, Bluetooth Saber app that might be out there and uh, it'll connect it comes up as Cal Dromies um, 
from KR Sabres, so that must have been uh, that must have been where I bought it from. So uh, I think you can update the firmware, but honestly, it's it's not worth it now since it's all kind of packed in there. Um, uh, that happened, but I put this in here before that new firmware came out where you can update the name and everything. Um, so yeah, you just, uh, once power's on to the Sabre, power comes on to Bluetooth, you can just connect to it straight from your phone. So, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, it's Crystal Focus 9, so... So, it has all the cool stuff. You can, uh, change the... The fonts. It has all the stock fonts on there. I think I changed the color on that one. No, that one's red too. Um, there are other colors on there. Let me try and find one. Nope, that one's red too. Okay. So, obviously, there's all colors. You can see all of them light up. Um, just for whatever reason, the default's like red on all of them. Uh, so, uh, be careful with this. Obviously, um, the paint will probably rub off over time for the chassis. Um, just slowly put this on there. And then uh, when the speaker gets to the, the bottom part down here, it likes to stick a little bit. So, just kind of click it back into place. And then um, thread this guy on. You're going to want to get a kill key that can uh, fit within this. Um, this should be out there. I just don't have any on hand. Otherwise, I would supply you with one. Um, and then with the uh, O-ring there, you can, uh, you have to press it a little bit, but you can twist it so that it is uh, lined up, which is kind of how you had it when you sent it to me. If not, then you can do it a little bit less than that, maybe half cocked, and that's still pretty solid so yeah uh, oh other thing I did I replaced the screw in here with a uh, one of these uh, socket head screws um, it always just sits better I didn't need any cutting it fit flush perfectly in there um, so it didn't extend into the actual hilt so it's got good sound um, so yeah that's the saber um, Hope you like it and um, look forward to being able to send this to you.